Now, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to Reacted the Amano Agata Ari. Um, tonight we are on episode 10 of Shabra Boom. You know where you're at, all right? You've seen the title. I don't need to say Shinobu Monogatari. There you go. There, just for you, chat. So, um, okay. Let's have a conversation, chat. Uh, this is not a good look. One month ago was the last episode. I think we should talk about that a little bit. Uh, let's see. September 27th? That means all of November there was nothing. Wait. No, October. I'm in November now. All of October, a little uh, gap on the monogatari. Uh, the situation is as follows, okay? Up to this point, We've been watching the MTTB subtitles, and they're goaded, right? Um, I think translation is incredibly incredibly important with Monogatari because obviously it's in another language, right? But especially with Monogatari, with all the wordplay and all the like things that pop up on the screen constantly, I find I've always really valued like how good the translations have been to me, right? MTTB is a fan project, um, as far as I'm aware, right? I'm pretty sure that's it's a fan project. It's not it's not the official like Crunchyroll subs or whatever, right? I don't even think this comes out on Crunchyroll. Whatever, it's a fan thing, right? And so that means that they aren't necessarily consistent on when they release these. Um, and the last, like like two weeks after episode ten dropped, they were like almost done with it and then like two more weeks passed and every single day in the discord i was getting edged by people saying like oh it's coming out tomorrow yeah it took a while um so that came out like four days ago uh and now i'm getting around to actually watching it so hey we're back to being late but that's okay okay what's most important is of course like the show you know like like this is one of the shows that i don't i don't care about the views as much as i do really enjoying the show and like giving it my best right and so who cares if I'm late? You know what I mean? It just means less people are going to watch the video, but that's fine because it'll be a better video. That's the thought at least. Um, okay. Now, so that's that. That's that's why I'm late. New topic. Hachikuchi. Um, so I got a Hachikuchi figurine. You might be wondering why. I'm not a weeb. I didn't purchase this, but I do have a Hachikuchi figurine, okay? Um, the story, I want to tell you the story. The story is, um, I was going out to a party with some friends, right? And we stopped by somebody's house to like, to like do makeup or whatever, right? Not me, but like everybody else was doing makeup, right? And so we walk in and we walk in their room and they got a ton of anime stuff everywhere, right? Like posters, figurines and stuff. And Hachikuji is looking at me on that shelf. And I literally unironically went, Hachikuji! And then I got really excited and I went up and I was like, can I take, this is gonna sound crazy. I said, can I take a picture with, this, with Hachikuji? And she was like, you can have her. And I, I swear, I swear I was gifted this Hachikuji. I'll, if I remember, I'll pull up the photo and I'll put it here. That literally like altered, hearing the words, you can have Hachikuji, altered my brain chemistry. That was so such a wonderful experience. So I was gifted this Hachikuji because they didn't even know who Hachikuji was. And they just had the figurine because they, they bought like a bargain like sale, or like a garage sale or something and got a bunch of figurines. And, and they didn't even know who this was. So, um... Hachikuji! That's that. Um, other story. Okay, so that's to story two. A lot of monogatari stuff's been happening, okay? Next story. I have another monogatari story. So, you might remember uh, the siblings react video. The siblings react to the uh, monogatari, which had the toothbrush scene and all that, right? Where I did it with my, uh, my sister, you know? Um, flashbacks to that, literally PTSD war flashbacks. Uh, so, my sister told me a story recently. Um, this was actually a few months ago, but I but I kept forgetting to to tell y'all this, but I really wanted to. Um, but a few months ago, my sister calls me and tells me a story. She's like, oh yeah, I've been like talking to this guy, whatever. Um, things are normal. And then she was like, but he wanted to floss my teeth. And so, and that that already is a lot to, to, to take in. But then she was like, and I let him floss my teeth, and the entire time he was flossing my teeth, I was thinking about watching Monogatari with you, the toothbrush scene. Unironically, unironically, that image was burned into my sister's brain as a guy was flossing her teeth, and she was thinking about me and Monogatari. I just need you to know that this, this, this I've, I've, I've suffered for this show, okay? This, this stuff, this show has seeped into my family. All right, it is ain't a game. All right, this ain't just a reaction. Okay, it goes deeper than that. Okay, yeah, but isn't that just crazy? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with that information. Like now, now when I think of to toothbrush scenes, like she lived the toothbrush scene, um, with a, with a guy, and then was thinking about Monogo. I just, I just can't. I just can't. I just can't do it. Okay, um, did I already boom? I think I already boomed. Um, comments. 
I did read all these. I went through the other day and read all of them and then hearted all of them because I felt I felt so bad, bro, that seeing one month ago on all these is just depressing. Um, but um, I'm not going... I, I don't really have too much to, like, off the cuff respond to because, um, like, I, I like I absolutely agree with this, right? What is with what Deathtopia doing? I think she's leaving a trail purposefully for, um, for Shinobu to follow because uh, that's, of course, like, a, a, a thing that only Shinobu would really understand. Blah, 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 blah. I think there's a really good parallel here about uh, how, like, there's a lot of parallelization being done. That was something I was really drawing on this last reaction. I know it was a month ago, but bear with me. Um, but I was really drawing on, like, parallel, like, the parallel of, like, Sodachi to freaking Takito, whatever her name, um, the other, the, the, the cryptology silver-haired girl, right? I was drawing that connection, and then also, of course, Kiss Shot to, or, like, Shinobu to Deathtopia is a huge parallel connection, right? So... Just all of that um, can also be like drawn against Nadeko in her past arcs or in, in like her last arc, right? Um, you know, period. Right here. This is what I was kind of... Wait, no, this is something else. You get what I mean. I think you can do a similar thing with Nadeko. That's kind of what the comment's saying. I agree with that. I like that. Um, makes math look so sexy. What is going on here? Anyways, though, my plan right now... Um, is to rewatch episode nine on my own. And by on my own, I'll probably speed it up and then like, it'll be like 10 seconds for y'all because I think that'd be funny. But I'm gonna just watch it straight through and not even like commentate, but just reabsorb because it's been a month and I don't want to, I don't want to like have holes in my memory as I'm um, watching this next episode, episode 10. So that's the plan here. Episode 11 subtitles for MTTB ain't out yet as far as I'm aware, which kind of sucks. And by the way, I know MTTB, my friends. Come in close, come in close. MTTB, my friends. I know I'm kind of, I'm I might seem a little perturbed about the delays in the MTTB subtitles, but it's a fan project. And if anyone knows delays, it's your boy Pink Cubed, who's always late to everything. So from one late fan creator Andy to another, it's okay. Next time, no big communication would be better. More communication is better personally, but I also sometimes struggle with that and I'm also sometimes cringe. So, you know, can't really pop, call the kettle black situation. You know what I mean? But yeah, episode nine, I'm going to rewatch this um, just on my own and then I'll give some thoughts so we can be ready going into 10 and then we will watch episode 10 together. That is the plan. I'm going to get this going for myself in a three, a two, a one. Oh man, this show is so good, bro. <laughs> oh man, I should, dude, I, I love this ED so much, man. I don't know why, but hearing, hearing this play and just looking at all this stuff just makes me so happy. Okay, so, all right. I, I think I, I I think I remember most of what most of the things I was saying um, from last episode. So I'm feeling pretty good at jumping to this new one. I'm pretty feel pretty excited. I'm not gonna lie. Um, one so Sodachi, and then Minito Takito. Yeah, what is her name? I should probably get her name fully locked down. Um, this this girl right here. Uh, let me let me just grab that real quick. But yeah, um, dude, the whole like one of the craziest things to me about this show, Minico Minico. One of the craziest things to me about this show is how like this random B777Q thing, that's actually a really crazy like mathematical coincidence. Like, no, it must have been the case that that Deathtopia's name was written based off of this riddle. The riddle must have come first in the writing process, right? Because the whole, it's, it's crazy that the prime n numbers line up to Deathtopia Suicide Master Virtuoso, DSV, right? And the order of that could have been anything because of, of course, the thing on the back of the note established the order. Um, but just the entire idea of B777Q, right? Where it, it leads to those three letters if you do all the, the, the Bs and Qs to six and nine into prime factorial, blah, blah, blah. Or you don't, I don't think it was prime factorials, but just split into prime numbers and put onto the alphabet, you know? That whole process, I think, would have had to been before you came up with Deathtopia's name. Because there's no way you would go, oh, okay, I got Deathtopia's name already. 
let me let me like look at prime numbers and see what happens. Like like and my reason I don't think that's really that possible is because the B and Q thing I really like, right? The whole idea of like they're very different on the surface, but when you look at them in a different perspective, when you make them undercase, then they mirror each other, right? I really like that idea. And even like, and I've, I read into that a lot last episode, right? Or like last reaction, same episode. But I, I read into that a lot and I really liked that. There's no way that that whole thing is just a lucky coincidence and that the naming thing was like, just, you know what I mean? Like that whole concept is baked into this so hard. So you, this had to have been done first. And it's just like, what a, what a fascinating way to write a character's name. That's like, yeah, I want to do this cryptology thing. Let me, uh, you know, like, that's just, I, I'm so curious what the writing process must have been like. Like, how far would you have to plan ahead? Like, when were these written, um, correspondent to each other, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so I really liked that. Um, random thing, Maniko's part of the math department. I think it said pretty explicitly in one of these, like, shots of her. Yeah, in the math department. So, okay, yeah, yeah. Maniko in the math department, new friend of me in college. Reason I brought that up specifically, I know she's trying to graduate in like cryptology. Like that's like what she's specifically trying to do. Um, but math department makes the connection to her and Sodachi, which was a parallel that I tried to establish last episode, even stronger. That it's not like she's specifically, like she is specifically cryptology, but that is within math, which had a lot of connection to Sodachi. Uh, also, like obviously the math puzzles that Sodachi and... Um, Araragi used to do is extremely reminiscent of this cryptology like like puzzle thing here. So that's that's pretty obvious, but quite like that. Um, important to remember that K came first, uh, or was like like when it comes to becoming mummy, um, she was first. I think that's important because I think she's the one that told Deathtopia what to do. Basically, I think she basically told Deathtopia, "Hey, um, if you want people who want to get bitten." right, who want their lives to be overturned by some sort of monster, then you should, because she wants that. She wants that. And she's saying, you can find more people like me in the basketball club. I think that's, I think that's why, because she was the first one. And yeah, like that, that just makes sense to me. Um, so she, she probably was like, yeah, make, you know, here's some other options on top of me. Uh, there is a little bit of a question of what exactly ruined the camaraderie of the team. Uh, cause that of course is what like incited the basketball team to be attacked specifically by the Deathtopia. Um, I really like this shot by the way of the shoes, laces being tied like together between shoes, which shows that they would all be tripping over each other. That's a really good little random visual thing to like display, um, the lack of camaraderie where they're like all in the same team. So they're connected, but they're connected in such a way that hurts all of them and like worsens them all. Um, it's important to note that there are five girls that have gone missing. I believe only three have been found. So we're probably going to find two more mummies. A um, hundred girls on the team? That's actually a lot. What? Why are there a hundred girls on the basketball team? Do they, oh, do they got like A team, B team, C team? Okay, I guess that can make sense. Um, but yeah, okay. So that's cool. Um, so we'll probably find two more. There, there's an important note, question, or like um, comment on like, oh, Hachikuchi will take the side of the oddities. I wasn't really, I feel like that's not exactly the, Hey, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't like that assumption from Gaon. Um, I feel like that's more just a re, like, it's, it's hard to tell how much she knows, you know, especially with her catchphrase. Um, right. And so like, why go to Araragi specifically is kind of a thing because she, she has an, ex she just has an excuse for everyone else. Right. I mean, Kage Nui, she's like, oh, it'll take a few days for Kage Nui. And then we get the visual of she's in the Arctic or something. Um, which, you know, could be, you know, could be a situation. Um, like that's believable enough. And then it's like, oh, Hachikuji, she'll be on the side of the oddities. It's like, well, would she? I don't like, I don't know. Wasn't there literally, what did Hachikuji do in the, De in the Nadeko stuff? Um, didn't Hachikuji literally like help with like dealing with the, the, the big monster? Um. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm so dumb. It was in Tsukihi Phoenix. It, I, for some reason, I thought that... Because the it was the drawing of the schlug. Yeah, that was like the entire bit. So I... I okay, this is what I was talking about, though. Hachikuchi literally helped with the schlug. So what do you mean, like, on the side of oddities? You know what I mean? Like, what, what exactly does that mean? I feel like everything's an oddity. Like, like there's so many oddities running around. It's not like there's a an oddity side that they're all, like, congregating with. You know what I mean? Like, they're they're just doing their own thing. 
at this point. Like, like they each have like different goals and motivations. So, like Hachikuchi side of the oddities. I mean, you're literally talking to Araragi, bro. He literally straddles the line between human and Araragi, or pff, human and Araragi, human and oddity, like in his essence. So, um, I, I don't know. I guess, I guess I'm just not confident that Gaon's rationale for not including Hachikuchi is real. Or is good. Not not good, but is real, is genuine. Um, so I kind of think that, like... Because it's because obviously Araragi is important specifically in this because Shinobu Deathtopia, right? So does Gaon know or suspect something to do with Araragi, Shinobu Deathtopia? And that's why she wants to include Araragi specifically, which is why she comes up, for, for re comes up with reasons for why every other person is unavailable. I think that's fair. Um, especially because, I mean... I mean, what, what evidence do you need? There's literally people with vampire bites, all right? And you have Araragi, who's attached to Shinobu, who used to be, like, the greatest vampire of all time. So that's kind of relevant, you know? Um, so, yeah, I, 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 that's just, I guess, I, I guess kind of the point I'm trying to make there. But, yeah, honestly, let me just jump, I think, into episode 10. Um, I'm very excited for this new episode. Uh, it should be exciting. And, yeah, all right, bet. Hopefully the um, NTPB for 11 will be out kind of soon though i might not wait at this point but we'll see no pressure hey big smooches no. all right not sure about why i did that anyways episode 10 let's just go ahead and jump into it in a three a two a one bang five are missing kamburu saroga surprisingly i would say unsurprisingly kk yeah. This music is freaky. Okay. Dude, this music is freaking me out. Ooh, collision. Oh, yeah? She owned it? She owned it? Mm, all the basketballs are like all the character, all the players like leaving, falling, falling away from each other. Can't Kamburu, the prodigy on her throne of boy's love. Mm. まあ、so like mm, the structure is expectation yeah and it's like kamburu was built different and now they have to like inherit that and they're not built different is that kind of the, the stem and so they built a structure that like wasn't able to like sustain kind of by being that so yeah they're like i mean it worked for us that's kind of the idea yeah the two basketballs okay i'd argue with two balls on his head it's true that the timing was good. Now he's got balls in his hands. Mm. 
Also, where sh sh I'm curious if Shinobu knows uh, what Shinobu knows, if she's been listening or if she's been sleeping. With, the, you know, like the Deathtopia stuff. Just a thing I, f I forgot to mention. Alright. List gathered. The answer is yes. And you're, hey, no, you're, you and Kamaru get together, alright? Aragi's taken. <laughs> Lay off. Yeah, what kind of emotions are you thinking, Gan? Depression? The upperclassman admire is no longer here? Okay. Depression turns into the blood? I like that. I like that. That's kind of where I'm at. So the distress of puberty? <laughs> the three protégés. Okay. I mean, I personally don't really care about finding two more. Well, no, actually, just kidding. It's probably good to find them because there might be more hints onto how we find Deathtopia. Because she already left one behind. Which Adoragi is bringing up right now. Yep. ただここにいるハリマズキエちゃんの所持品や隣室の本能アブリちゃんの所持品からはそれらしき署名は見つからなかったもちろんリビングメッセージもなのだけれどしかしもしも例の単語帳に書かれていたDRRRRRRRRR
僕ってあの春休みにお前に血を吸われて不死身の救急車だわけじゃんほら覚えてる今にも消滅そうだった And I came in and saved you It was in a beautiful place Not a subway とニヒルに笑いながら My nihilistic grin 差し出し記憶力をどうした受験勉強とやらで No he was screaming Actually I was in tears Yeah Oh, the mummy question. Would I be a mummy? Why would it fail? Does it have to be on purpose? Okay, explain, explain. Bruh. That's true. それも大量の失敗例とするならばあの時間軸の別ルートの推しの忍ぶは言うなら一種の自暴自棄で目的も動機もなかったこの度の吸血鬼も自暴自棄なのだろうかうんエモーショナル but I, I, I don't want to say no goal or objective I would just say emotional or like maybe a little bit irrational you know what I mean oh that picture I love that picture Whoever made them a vampire, he's putting it together. What is their name? Tell me about them, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm very. Okay, this will be exciting to hear from her. Yeah. Yep, confirmed. All right, so Aragi knows now. Okay. Bro, that arc went so hard. Why does it make you tremble, though? Why does it make you tremble, though? Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. It's been a minute. Been a hot minute. Truly reckless. Nah, she held out, bro. The quiet, the quiet camera shutter was cool there. She ate what she wanted. Dang, that's a good shot of her. I kind of let her suck my blood out of pity. Aww. Yo, it's the same thing with the Araki just said. Nihilistically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like master, like servant. But what about you? What about like master, like servant from her to you? You know what I mean? We gotta, we gotta extend that. And who's home? Deftopia's at the door. It's over for us. Oh, is that? Why are you here? Wait, that doesn't make sense with my timeline anymore. All right, I'm lost. I thought you were busy with Nadeko. Gon literally said, like, we don't gotta worry about her. She's gonna be gone. Alright. 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 
Shinobu's like, yeah, come on, like, can, can we, like, lock in? Oh, yeah, wait, true. How, what the heck? <laughs> Good push. Nobility, slight reference to Deathtopia, maybe? Like, unintentional Freudian slip type? Beat. Oh, she, Tsukihi Phoenix. She's doing Tsukihi Phoenix right now. Well, I don't know exactly where she is in that phase. Er, like, like, but yeah. Oh, so you have to wait. Because okay. you can't just slip in. Oh, for chain. What does it say? Oh, well, Hachikuchi Fortune! Okay, so she visited Hachikuchi. Fair Fortune business. It's risky to dance. Waiting for someone else to go get them instead. Go to Deathtopia. That's what it's saying. It's saying go to Deathtopia. Hachikuchi guiding us? The lost Hachikuchi guiding us somewhere? Low-key? That's kind of fire. All right. They're playing the game of life. Bruh. You put Shinobu in a booster child seat? That's crazy. What is going on? Oh, Hachikichi! Where are you? Oh, dang. We got an entire thing going on. Hachikichi! What's up, Hachikuchi? Oh, she in meditation. Damn, she in meditation. Shinobu is over it. Shinobu... No, what are you doing? It, it, it... My secret training. Okay. He's harnessing her, her inner her inner energy, bro. She's chilling, bro. Okay, okay. No, it isn't. Don't. <laughs> Dang, she has power over uh, magic. Or uh, water. Yo, what transformation? Alipsia? I fit my bone. Yo. <laughs> That's pretty good. I really say what's good. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you get included. Oh, Shinobu no Chikuchi. What are you? What is she digging for? Endless wordplay. The element of play. Okay, okay. Deathtopia. Deathtopia. Yo, Hachikuchi's helping us out is about to be crazy. <laughs> Yo. Dude, Hachikuchi is really like getting this ready, bro. She's really hyping this up right now. Multiple doors opening? Four. She's dying. What is going on here? I... But you've been sucking on uh, basketball players. Why is she a corpse? What is going on? Is it a trick? What? Um, dude, she is like way worse. I feel like she she was worse off than she was. I feel like when we saw her like just that tiny bit. So I feel like this surely can't be genuine. Hachikuji, explain. Alright, I, I appreciate that. Okay, she's mummy mode. What? Why is she mummied? Oh god, is that referring to Hachikuji? That's, yeah. 
Low-key account, but okay. She wasn't always. What does that mean? Critical condition. Okay, so she's in super starvation mode? Yeah, yeah. Medicine. Blood? Maybe, maybe the basketball players made her sick. Maybe it went the other way, where they cursed her because they had bad blood. Between them, they literally have bad blood between them as a team. Right? And so their blood is bad. Which makes it curse- it messed up her! Oh my goodness. We're cooking. Vlocken. We're going back to hell? Why are we going to hell? Hachikuchi hell? The blood pond? What is going on? Dante's Hachikuchi is back? Yo. Oh my goodness, we're actually doing this right now. What is going on? Wait, are we just gonna bring some back here? <laughs> oh my... Alright. I, I wanted to kill you for so long. I know you chose to do that, Shinobu. Come on. Four hundred years. She's been practicing the blade. Yo. Indescribable subtle beauty of beauties of nature. Hundred flower bloom. Natural beauty of spring. It's all about beauty. Impermanence of things. Ooh. Ooh. Impermanence of things. Mm, okay. Oh, you just combo all of them. Oh my goodness, Araki just got massacred. Okay. I'm thinking... Ooh, that's interesting. That's a flip, bro. That's an inversion I was not ready for, bro. That... I think Deftopia got her got hoed. But why would she no oh, oh, oh. Hmm. But why would you keep sucking on him? Why would you keep sucking on it? Like <laughs> the five, right? Because there was five of them. So if the first one had bad blood, so to say. Oh, but maybe it's about camaraderie? Because like my problem is if the first one had bad blood, K, then why would you drink the second one? Why would you keep eating um, them, right? And why would you write the code for your name? Why would you codify it if you're dying? I feel like if you were dying, like if I'm Deathtopia, right? And I just, ah, all taste the same. Hmm. Sorry, I love this ED actually. Um, Cause I really like Deathtopia. Deathtopia is my goat, bro. Hmm. Why would you keep going? Like, like, cause that's the thing. I'm trying to decide if Deathtopia wanted this to happen. Right, wanted to become a mummy. Or if she, this was a problem that came about because of the best. <gasps> and after credit scene, after credit scene. Holy crap, lock in. Are we in heaven? I'm gonna be pissed if we accidentally went to heaven and we need to go to hell. <laughs> in heaven. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's crazy. Is that what happened here? Or is it a fake out? <sighs> God's looking out for me. Hello? What is going on? Who is, who select? Should, should, what am I looking at here? This looks like 
is Kiss shot when she was a human. Oh, because she for oh wait did hap oh no oh why is for oh no bro what yo oh my goodness Pr okay so when Hachi or when Shinobu said that she had forgotten who she was as a human because she did say that she literally forgot to the point that she that Acerola is dead. Like, like, I think the, like, is it like that the loss of memory for who she was as a human meant that her human part had died, thus sending the human part to the afterlife? That's crazy. Why are we here? What are we doing with this, bro? What? Oh my goodness, leave it to Monogatari to just rant. Like, like, now I'm like, I have no idea what they're trying to do now. I, I love how she's wearing the Oni mask to, like, to like get in the way of her being so beautiful that like Adoraki. Well, it's like the crazy thing is like you can't kill yourself if you're in heaven. You're already dead. You know what I mean? Yo, that's crazy. So didn't Shinobi? Didn't you literally say? Oh wait, I get it. The donut is half heaven, half hell. That's why it's light and dark. Okay. Anyways, um, human. Though I myself had forgotten that I used to be human until the incidents that happened with you last year. Hmm. She remembered though. Didn't see, did <sighs> Who created me? It's time to talk about her. I was light and then, hmm. Did she forget about her as Acerola? Right? Oh wait. Uh... Oh no. Uh... Decided to suck my blood when I was still human because of that she almost starved to death. So I kind of let, so I kind of let her suck my blood out of pity. Mm, I'm trying to decide why Asrol is in heaven, bro. That's so weird that half of you could be in heaven. Cause that's I've always thought of it as a transformation, but to think that you're like because that's kind of the the implication here, right? That's like you transform from human to oddity, right? So you undergo a great change in who you are and how you like perceive yourself and how the world perceives you, whatever. Does that mean that the old you is dead? And like this kind of says that yes, right? That the old Shinobu is dead. When she, like her, her form is Acerola, transforming from that, it's not, it's, it's less of a transformation, it's more like a rebirth. Because it's not like you have a structure and then it changes form and then it's a different structure. Because in that way, you're keeping the, you're keeping the mass, right? It's the same structure, it's just undergone a change. No, 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 this is like, the, the original structure cracks like an egg, is destroyed, and then a new structure is birthed out from it. And so the cracked, destroyed structure gets to go to heaven, and then the new one exists. That's kind of how this feels now, which is a really interesting way to, like, conceptualize change. Which is kind of what I'm trying to do with it, I guess, but that's just so crazy that I don't even know, bro. And, like, she seems to have some memory of her as Acerola, so it's not- it, it can't be purely based on, like, oh, I forgot who I was, therefore. I think it's probably more so based in the element of change, right? In the same way that you could remember somebody that's dead. You could remember how they were when they're alive. In this case, it's just that you were that somebody and that you that form of yours is dead. Right? Ugh, that's crazy. Though to be fair, she is remembering it in a skewed way. Um, and so, you know, it, you could be saying that this is purely a play on how Aragi is, um, is portraying it so like she's copying what Araragi does as like a joke or you could say that she's copying what Araragi does because she doesn't actually know what sh what it was for her and so she's like cop you know she's copying like in the way that your 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 brain will fill in memories that like you're unsure of right like details in a memory can't be fully trusted because your brain will just make stuff up it could be kind of one of those in which case her memory of the event who she really was is dead so i think the memory interpretation and idea does have some realm that's really interesting though. Why was Onanoki here? I think she was just here to kind of do timeline stuff. She didn't really accomplish it. Oh, and to deliver the Hachikuchi thing. Um, let me read the full Hachikuchi thing. All right, fair fortune, business. It's risky to dance to someone else's tune. Gone, waiting for someone. Go see them instead. Come check, come see what's up. Health, your mind is truly unhealthy. Health, your mind is truly unhealthy. Hmm, there's a plague within you, okay. Studies, you must work hard without a moment to rest. This this is serious. And then, oh my goodness, I can't read the bot, wait. 
Uh, hold your current. Hold your current. Wait. Hold your current girlfriend. Dear. Okay. It says hold your current girlfriend dear. It's just the title's gone the way, so I had to click it. Um, sh is that in this context? Is that referring to Shinobu? Um, in the idea like don't let the bond between you and Shinobu be disrupted with what's to come. Or it could just be saying like Senju Gahara, um, which is almost a little bit of a reference to like he got to be like, you got a girlfriend, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I also thought it was a little funny that like, I really liked that there's such a, so I already mentioned it, but I really liked the like irony or like parallel or whatever that Hachikuji, who is the, the lost one, is the one that's like guiding Aragi to where he should go. Um, and like, there's a very mini, like them playing the game of life made me think of that a little bit too, where it's like, that's a route game. There's like the different routes you go. I don't, I don't think, you know, I, there's like a little bit of something maybe, but, um, so it's like Hachikuchi gave them a route or something. I just, pathways makes me think Hachikuchi because she's like lost on like paths or whatever. Um, but yeah. Hmm. What are we trying to do, bro? So, okay. So the big question is that same one I was just saying is why... Okay, how, why is Deathtopia sick? And why didn't she prevent it? Because if, she, if biting one of them made her sick then sh and like mummified her, then surely she would know that and she wouldn't bite for more, you know? Um, there is the idea that like, oh, she left behind the flashcard um, on the, oh, the second or third victim. Wait. Wait, this is actually important. Which victim was it that she left the flash drive on? It's when they had the shirts on screen. Because if 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 there's room that the one she left the flash card on was the very last one, that could be important. Um, because that was like a mini point established. Oh, where was that? It was when we were talking to Gon still. Yeah, somewhere in here, I think. Uh right here. Okay, she was the third person to be found, but Kuchimoto was the second victim. Order of crime, H A is the third. Who, and then who who did we go and find? Okay, KK is the person that we found with the flashcards. KK was second. Am I am I getting that correct? Because if KK is second, then that's really interesting too. Because uh, it places the flashcard event, which I would yeah, KK was second. So that means that Deathtopia placed the flashcard. With the the, the 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 encrypted flashcard she placed, and then she went out and bit another person, right? Because I think there's a world that if 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 KK was the third one, <coughs> and Shinobu had or and uh, sorry, <coughs> oh my goodness, I need liquid. <laughs> I need liquid stacked. Ah, there we go. Okay, if Deathtopia, um. Or if KK was the third victim, the last victim, uh, there's still two more victims, but that doesn't mean that, like, if, okay. <coughs> Five victims. Five victims. If of the three we know, KK was the last one, then that would mean that she could be the last one. It wouldn't guarantee it because one of the two, un like, unknown victims could have been after KK, but would have it would have opened up the possibility that KK was the last one, which could mean that the flashcard was done last right that maybe death to and that would have opened up a possibility of like deathtopia being like oh no i'm turning into a mummy let me real quick do this flashcard gimmick you know but that's not what happened deathtopia didn't decide to do the flashcard gimmick while she was like about to hit the point of being a mummy because um she had already like she does the flashcard and then goes out and does it again Right? So if she knew that drinking the basketball girl's blood was, was hurting her, then she wouldn't have put out the flashcard as a, as a, like, come help me, and then keep doing it. That doesn't make sense. So she must have put up, she must have done the flashcard thing either knowing, see, I think it's, it has to just be a separate thing. That she, I think she did the flashcard to get Shinobu to pull up. That tracks the most with uh, Deathtopia and her drive, as far as I'm aware. Her turning into a mummy could still be intentional, right? Um, in that she uh, did it, like she drank the the basketball girl's blood knowing it would mummify her or something akin to that. 
right? Going along, going on with the the there's bad blood between the basketball girls members. Therefore, drinking that bad blood corrupts everyone, right? Because I mean, it's notable that they're turning into mummies, not zombies, right? So there's something distinct going on here um, that maybe isn't entirely just based on how the vampirization failed, but could be a sign of something else because there is something going on with the basketball girls. So yeah, I'm currently my current idea is that. Deftopia pulls up, planning to get to pull up to Shinobu and, and check up on her, because um, she's heard the rumors. She finds K. K is like, please destroy me. Um, and then Deftopia figures out maybe through drinking a little bit of K's blood, she can taste something weird, or maybe um, something else happens. And I think it would be likely that she would figure out that this is going to mummify her, but she does it anyways because that's how she wants um, Shinobu to view her or something, right? I, I, I wonder if there's a, a world where Death... I think that's what's going on, but I don't know. I wonder if there's a world where Deathtopia is choosing to basically present this way to Shinobu. Um, maybe out of like... A, I mean, in a, in a way, it would be like an elaborate form of self-harm almost for attention, Though that's kind of a really crazy way to, 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 to personify that, um, or to describe that rather, right? Where it'd be like, I'm going to drink something that mummifies me, and I'm going to leave a, a trail a little bit by going to Hachikuji, um, who probably, Hachikuji probably is like, oh, I know who Shinobu is, um, Kiss Shot, whatever. Because I, I surely Hachikuji could connect those dots. So I, I would imagine that she pulls up to Hachikuji and then she's like, oh, Shinobu's gonna gonna arrive. She leaves behind the trail otherwise, right? Um, and that she's like, yeah, go bring them here, please. Or something like that. Though, no, that doesn't make sense because Hachikuji would have described that. Hachikuji, what exactly? Hachikuji, no, but she knows, okay. Hachikuji does know, oh, frick. I have to find it manually. Hachikuchi does know that Deftopia is looking for Shinobu specifically because she calls that out. Um, she's like, the young girl wants you, Shinobu, specifically. She did say that. And Araragi was like, oh, wow, the shoe's on the other foot. You know what I mean? Um, the young girl who wanted to keep riding on my shoulders after I was done mountain climbing gave me an elbow to the crown of my head. Yeah, I want, I want to introduce Shinobu, not Araragi. So yeah, that must mean... there's. Why would Hachikuji want to do this? Surely it's because Deathtopia asked for that. So I think Deathtopia is planning this, and this is for some reason how she wants to present to Araragi. Maybe it's a... Didn't Hachikuji bring up the, the, the thing of blood too? Um... Who brought it up? Yeah, blood. Yeah, Hachikuji's the one that says, go to hell, Aragi. Not in a mean way, but in a sweet way. So, say it. Yeah, 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 right here. Okay, new, new strat just dropped. Hachikuji is the one that brought up the, the blood with hell and all of that nonsense, right? Um... I think Hachikuji and Deathtopia are working together to trick Araragi to die, knowing that Araragi is going to go to heaven because Deathtopia wants Araragi to meet Princess Acerola, and it's all under control. That's what I think right now. I think I think Deathtopia has planned this. She's worked with Kay to mummify herself, to mummify herself, um, to put her into critical condition because she wasn't in critical condition. She became in critical condition, right? So I think she she purposefully drank foul blood with the basketball team and got in bad condition because it wouldn't make sense that she drank that her drinking non-foul blood would have hurt her. That like she wasn't in that bad of condition, so she had to have done something to worsen her condition. I think that she did that purposefully to 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 light a fire under Aragi and Shinobu to kill Aragi to send Aragi to heaven. And that's why, Ar and, that, and Hachikuji is in on this. That's why she's bringing up hell. Because Araragi's like, oh, sure, blood hell, that makes sense. And then it's kill him. Bada boom, bada bang, you're in heaven. How are we going to get him back from heaven? Surely they got this figured out. Hachikuji's god. Trust. Yeah. I think it's fully under control and it's fully Deathtopia. Um, because it's just, it doesn't make sense that she'd be sick otherwise. 
And Hachikuji has fed us all the answers, both that she wants Shinobu specifically and that Araragi should go to hell, basically that Araragi should die. And then that became extremely relevant in Araragi gaining information that is very important to the Deathtopia backstory. So I think Deathtopia wants Araragi to see this. Why? Why would, Ar why would she want Araragi to see this? I, I, I'd be, I'd be, I'm, I'm, I'm so curious why she, why Deftopia would want Adaragi to do anything. I, I feel like her focus would be on, maybe she's, okay, maybe there's a world where she's trying to pair off Adaragi to Princess Asarola in heaven so that she can have Shinobu to herself. So it's like, oh, you go be human with the human form of your beloved, and then I get to be with my beloved in her oddity form as a fellow oddity. Maybe she's trying to, like, regulate, um these these halves that are in conflict much like the donut maybe she is trying to take the basically think about it this way there's two of these donuts right half human half oddity right and they're what she's trying to do is she's taking it apart and putting it back together so it's it's pawn and pawn and old-fashioned and old-fashioned right what she doesn't understand is that shinobu loves the mix of both right that's what, that's what the donuts are important, okay? The donuts is Shinobu already choosing to do the half and half thing, which is maybe what Deathtopia is trying to resist. Because it, it could be that she wants Araragi to meet with Princess Asarola. That's the human form of Shinobu that would leave the oddity form of Shinobu to Deathtopia, which then I think would give... Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of of why Deathtopia would want Araragi to meet Asarola. I know we're like seven assumptions deep, but I like the idea. That's the really fun thing about this show. You can just keep going and going and going. And Araragi's dad is dead, okay? And we're about to meet his ass in heaven. Araragi's dad is dead. <laughs> no, it's not true. Um, most likely. I'm still going to hold on. Hold it on. I'm holding on for a hero here. Also, okay, I need to point out something very specifically. I'm almost certain that in my Discord server, this isn't me. This isn't me. I'm almost certain that in my Discord server recently, in the last like three days, somebody said that they have never shown Hachikuji's feet before. That was like a red, and guys, we don't, I'm, I'm sorry, the Discord doesn't usually talk about feet. That's a lie. It doesn't, I don't want it to talk about feet as much as it does. There we go, that's the truth. Um, but they, they said that, they lied. They knew this. The Discord purposefully is lying to me about feet in order to make me more focused on it. That's not my fault. I'm getting manipulated. Okay? They literally said we've never seen that. And then the next episode that I was to watch shows them. Right there. I'm not crazy. Okay. Um, cool. Deftopia, I swear you're planning. I swear this is intentional. I swear. Um, it's also interesting she's under such harsh light. I feel like that's the worst place to be if you're a vampire. <laughs> Oh, I guess lighting is fine. No, 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 no. Sun is bad. Lighting is fine. I just, I was kind of going for like a metaphor there, but no, 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 no. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push that. Abandon, abandon hope all ye who enter here. Um, I thought the uh, Shinobu's um, techniques was kind of a fun note because they're all about beauty and then end in destruction, which reminds me of Acerola because Acerola was all about beauty, right? Or like flower, temporality beautiful thing like half of them were about beauty but a lot was like about like um like trees wilting or whatever which feels somewhat reminiscent like and then we go to a place where acerola is beautiful flowers beautiful fields i mean that's very similar to like the the power moves that shinobu just did you know what i mean that's kind of similar to this energy oh and you know this myth oh you were told this myth yeah? Wait, Araragi was literally told this, so he's fully aware of what he's walking into. Oh, that's important. Yeah, I feel like, I think he was, well... Hmm. He's, he's somewhat aware. Because I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's if he got like a full, a fuller conversation than we got here. Because this lasted like two, two minutes for us, you know? Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little bit more that, like, if, I don't know how much he knows about the story. I assume he knows quite a bit. I mean, he recognized her, I think. Be you know, beautiful princess type thing. I love this shot of Deathtopia with the completely blacked out face.
That's really, really good shot. Okay, okay, Monogatari. I can, I can feel it again. I'm love, dude. This show is so good, bro. Um, anything else? Anything else? That was, a, I think, a healthy, a healthy dose of prediction there. Um, oof. What does it mean, like thematically, though? I don't even know what I would try to do with that. Um, there's kind of the idea of like, how would I even describe it? Trying, it's like trying to control something. Like there's, there's an element of control of like, let me control how my being is. And that, that idea is manifesting with this prediction of mine that Deathtopia is trying to control how Shinobu's being is and how Araragi's being is and how they connect with each other in order to have room for her to connect with somebody. So she's trying to like allocate or partition um, Shinobu's being. Right? That Shinobu is both of these things. She's Ari and human, Princess Asarola and Sh Shinobu and Kishot, whatever. And she's trying to, and that Deathtopia is trying to allocate those parts to herself and Araragi respectively. Um, that's my prediction. I think that's interest, an interesting idea. Um, and it, it raises the question of, do we have control over our own being enough to allocate it? Right? Do we have control of partitioning in that kind of way um that and that's kind of a broad philosophical question that i think could be relevant here depending on where that all goes you know what i mean um okay anything else i feel like that's probably a maybe a good spot here i'm excited to get back into it um where i'm gonna be watching these somewhat consistently now okay no more month breaks i promise hopefully a roughly a week for between the until we finish right all right until we finish i think it's out i think all the ones are out that are gonna be out um for like the the imminent future so hopefully uh, gonna try to be on that pace all right comment down below if you have anything to say type type thing um mm, yeah man but the, the one one last thing i'll say one last thing i'll say is that is Hachikuji really duping us right now? Low-key. It'd be kind of crazy if Hachikuji was duping us a little bit. Low-key, she's taking the side of the oddity here. Gone was right. No, no, no. I wouldn't ever doubt Hachikuji. Shout out Hachikuji! Shout out Hachikuji! I wouldn't ever doubt Hachikuji. Um, because Hachikuji's pretty much my goat. Uh, but this is my 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 prediction does lie on Hachikuji kind of purposefully misleading Araragi. Uh which is, it would be kind of an interesting situation personally, but uh, we'll just kind of have to see what happens with that, I think. But yeah, honestly, that's going to do it for this one. On to the next episode 11 of Monogatari Off-Season Monster Season Shinobu Mustard, part three, I think that will be. Uh, should be exciting. Of course, of course, of course, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you are new, blah, blah, blah. Comment down below if you have any, anything to say or join the Discord and talk to me or other Monogatari friends. There are link in the description. But until then, until the next episode, that's the for tonight. I will be seeing you then. Peace.